I'm Jen Sheffer, and this is everything you need to know about Apple Clips. Hi everyone, I'm Jen Sheffer. Thank you so much for joining me for this Apple Clips training tutorial. I'm very excited to show you Apple Clips for several reasons. First and foremost, it has an extremely user-friendly interface. It can also be used in any grade level, whether you teach elementary, middle, or high school. It can also be used in any subject area, ELA, math, science, social studies, or any elective you may be teaching at the high school. Clips is an excellent alternative to iMovie. It combines photo with video, text effects, and more. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to use Clips. It can be easily shared through Google Classroom or Seesaw. It could also be uploaded to YouTube after students save the video to their device. So you can see here, we are inside the app. And before we get started, um, you'll notice in the upper left-hand corner, there is a white square and that's the files icon. So to start a new clips project, your students will tap on that icon and they will select new project. Any projects that your students create will be saved here in the project library. If they want to delete a project from their library, they can simply tap on it and hit delete and then delete. So we're gonna start with a new project. Now, when they first open clips, the front facing camera will be launched by default. And if they wish to reverse the camera, they can tap the reverse camera button, which is directly above the red record button. You do see a prompt here on the screen that says hold to record. So your students will have to hold down and keep that button held while they're recording. But there is an alternative to that, which I'll show you in a, in a minute. So what I would recommend when your students start their clips videos is to start with a poster. So to enable the poster feature, we're going to tap on the photos icon, which is underneath that rainbow colored star. And we're going to see two options, photos and posters. So I'm gonna tap on posters. They will appear here and there's several categories. We start with gradients and keep in mind, all of the text that you see on these posters can be fully customized. So your students can think critically about their topic and then they can select a poster that aligns with that topic. That's another reason why I really love Clips. It promotes not only creativity, giving students a tremendous sense of ownership over their work, but it also does uh, promote critical thinking. So whether they're recording an experiment in a science class or they're doing a process video for, um, in science or they wanna do a book review for a book that they recently read, um, they can quickly create a very professional looking uh, clips video and especially our youngest elementary learners will be really proud of what they create. Many of these posters have animation effects built right in, so it gives them a really professional look. So I'm going to do an example for the um, Revolutionary War. So I'm going to choose the vintage gasp theme. And just like um, I mentioned earlier, we can tap on the text and then fully customize it. So this will be the Sons of Liberty. So I type in that text, close my on-screen keyboard, and now I can record. So I'm going to tap and hold while I record. Meet the Sons of Liberty. Now I can listen back to that recording by tapping on the clip at the bottom, and I'm going to tap play. Meet the, Meet sons, the of sons of Liberty. Liberty. And if I'm satisfied, satisfied with that clip, I can move to the next clip in my video. If I need to delete the clip, I tap on it. I can hit delete. You see that trash icon. I can mute the audio if I needed to. I could trim or split it. Um, those two features are a little bit advanced. I would recommend um, using the split feature rather than the trim. Um, and I'll show you that in a few moments as well. You can duplicate the clip or you could save it. Um, if I tap on effects, I will be prompted as to which effects I can use on a particular clip. I can use live titles, I can use text, stickers, and I also have full access to the emoji keyboard. And this is where that critical thinking comes into play, encouraging your students to only select um, effects that are necessary and add visual appeal or 
um, they make logical sense for their project. I can also filter. Um, actually, I can't. As you'll notice here, I get a prompt that I can't apply a filter to a poster. So that's a helpful hint that's built right into the app and your students will be able to use this for the most part, I think very independently, which again is another reason why I love clips. Now that I've added that clip, I can tap done in the upper left-hand corner and I can add an additional clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the photos icon once more. This time I am going to tap on photos and my camera roll will be launched. I'm going to tap this photo here and then add on the upper right-hand corner. Now I have a menu. I have add to project or preview and record. If your students wanna record audio, they'll need to select preview and record. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now it's going to be added. Now what I can do is I can use two fingers to pinch and zoom out. And before I do my recording, here's where I can add some really neat effects to make my clips very unique. So I'm gonna tap on the effects star and now I can filter the photo. So most of our students are familiar with filters. Uh, many of them have smartphones, especially our middle and high school students, and they can apply a filter that is um, going to enhance the overall look and feel uh, of the clips video. And again, something that makes sense so they can think very logically and critically about what um, type of filter would be suitable. In this case, I'm just going to tap none. The next thing I can add to a photo is what are called live titles. And um, each title you can see here, we have headline, optical, and we have a little preview, a thumbnail preview of that particular live title. So your students can go through, select one that they like, and they can also tap on the English tab at the bottom with that globe and they can change the language. So if they're English speaking students, their recording will be in English, but the words will appear in whichever language they um, select. So the live titles will appear in that language. Now, if we have students that are not English speaking students, they can speak in their native language and they can have the live title that coincides with their native language. And you can see there are many different languages to choose from. So I think this is an excellent feature for our ELL students. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with English and I'm going to select handwriting for my style because I think it um, blends nicely with the topic. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on the screen. And before I record, I'm going to do one more thing in terms of effects. I'm gonna go ahead and um, Actually, no, I'm gonna do that in the next clip. So I'm gonna just go ahead and record. And here we go. The Sons of Liberty were founded to advance the rights of the colonists and to fight taxation by the British government. And then I release. I can tap on that clip and play it. And I can also view the live title. The Sons, the Sons of, Liberty of Liberty were founded, were founded to, advance to advance the rights, the rights of, the of the colonists and to fight, and to fight taxation, taxation by the, British, by the government. British government. So if I'm satisfied with that clip, I can move on to the next. Um, and if I go back to effects, you'll see at the top, I can tap on edit text. And if I needed to make any changes, as you can see, um, capitalization, I may need to change some of that um, to make it grammatically correct. Um, I can go ahead and do that. Um, but that is how you would edit the text. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap the X and move on to the next clip so I can tap done. So now I'm gonna go into that photo once more, that photo icon, I'm gonna select photo. This time I will tap on Sam Adams. I'm gonna hit add, preview and record. And this time I'm gonna tap on effects. I don't want a live title on this particular clip. I'm going to zoom. Um, I can't really zoom on this one, so that's okay. I'm going to instead here, if I can't zoom in, this is where your students will think critically. I'm gonna go ahead and select the emoji. I'm gonna use the American flag and I'll use that um, freedom bell, liberty bell, and I can move these emojis 
I can make them larger by pinching or smaller. I can rotate them. And uh, students really love emojis. So I would encourage you to have them use those effects. And now I can do my recording. Sam Adams was the founder of the Sons of Liberty. And then I release. Now, if I wanted to rearrange the clips and maybe I want to make the Sam Adams clip first, I tap in the timeline and then I just drag and bring it to the front. So it's an easy drag and drop interface and your students will um, be able to do that independently. They shouldn't have any problems with that. Uh, now I can move to the next clip. I have the front facing camera. I'm going to tap on the photos icon once more. I'm going to go to photos. I'm gonna select the picture of Paul Revere. I'm gonna tap add, preview and record. And this time I'm going to show you how you can um, move the record button so that you, the students don't have to continuously hold on that record button. So I'm gonna do a couple things first. I'm going to pinch this. I'm going to tap on the star for the effects and I want to add a text effect. So again, there are many different text effects to choose from and your students will really have the opportunity to be creative, um, adding emphasis to photos and um, whatever they're creating. So I think they're going to really enjoy this. So for here on this particular clip, I'm gonna select the day, day one and I'm gonna change that text to midnight ride. I'll close the keyboard and then I'm going to just tap on the screen to close the effects. I'm going to bring this up here. Now this effect can also be moved. It can be rotated as so. In addition, your students could add additional elements. They could add emojis. They can add um, live titles. But to keep it simple, I'm just going to leave it like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an animation effect. So I'm going to zoom like so. And to tap, I'm gonna tap and hold on that record button and I'm gonna drag it to the left center. You will see the record button change from a rectangle to a square. That's gonna allow me to pinch and zoom and I won't have to hold down that record button continuously. So I'll show you how that looks now. Paul Revere is famous for his 1775 midnight ride to warn the colonists about a British attack and then I tap and I release and now I'm no longer recording. I tap on the clip, I can preview it. Paul Revere, Paul Revere is, famous is famous for his, for his 1775, 1775 midnight, midnight ride, ride to, warn to warn the colonists, the colonists about, a about a British attack. attack. So that looked great. If I wanted to maybe trim out some of the beginning of that, because there was a bit of silence, my recommendation would be to tap on the clip and go to split and just come over here just a bit, dragging that white bar to the left. There is no undo button on this. So um, just as a forewarning, I can hit split now. And now I have that individual clip. I can play it. So nothing's happening in this particular clip. So I was able to eliminate some of that um, dead air so I can delete that clip. And again, just be mindful that um, there is no undo, unfortunately. So um, your students may wanna practice and there may be a bit of trial and error with splitting and trimming clips. So um, I would certainly have them write a script ahead of time to help them and have them practice and plan um, which is a def definitely a, um, an excellent part of um, video making. And um, sometimes it's the hardest part, but it's certainly the most important is that planning aspect. And um, last but not least, before we close, uh, I would like to point out that there's also music that can be added to the clips video. So if you look at the top right hand corner, you will see a music icon, a musical note icon. And when I tap on that, the music selection is launched and by default there's no music, but if we tap on soundtracks, we will see a wide variety of soundtracks. They are royalty free 
And so we don't have to worry about copyright infringement. Um, your students don't have to worry about downloading a song. These soundtracks are also available in iMovie if they're familiar with that. They are extremely high quality and they can add a lot to their finished projects. So I would have them preview uh, the songs and um, in order to do that, they just simply tap on it. So I'll do this. So if they like a particular soundtrack, they'll tap on it, they'll see the red check mark, and then they can simply tap the back arrow at the top on the left, and then they select done. And this soundtrack is going to be automatically applied to the entire clips video, and it will be adjusted to the length of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and tap done. And then I'm gonna tap that X so I can add one final clip and I can just simply say, let's take a closer look at the Sons of Liberty. So maybe that is, maybe this clip is a, um, maybe this whole video is just an introduction. And again, your students are able to filter um, videos of themselves if they want. They can use a comic book effect if it's applicable for the subject that they're doing. Um, they can add a dramatic, warm, cool, uh, black and white. So lots of options to choose from. And when they're ready to watch the whole clip, they can play it. Meet the, Meet sons, the sons of Liberty. Of Liberty. The Sons, the Sons of, Liberty of Liberty were founded, were founded to, advance to advance the rights, the rights of, the colonists, of the colonists and to fight, and to fight taxation, taxation by the British, by the British government. government. Sam, Adams Sam Adams was the founder, was the founder of, the of the Sons of Liberty. Of Paul, Revere Paul Revere is famous, famous for his, for his 1775, 1775 midnight, midnight ride, ride to, warn to warn the colonists, colonists about a British, British attack. attack. Let's take Let's a closer look at the Sons of Liberty. So maybe your students will continue um, building their clips videos and they'll go in more detail and depth about maybe Sam Adams or Paul Revere or other events um, that led up to the Revolutionary War. Maybe they're gonna talk more about the Boston Tea Party or the Boston Massacre. Or if you're um, a history teacher at the high school level, they can use clips to talk about uh, significant historical events. They can explore um, political cartoons, do an analysis of that. They can examine historical photographs. Um, there's a huge range of topics that clips can be used for. And again, super simple, easy to use, easy to share. And when I'm done, I can tap on that share button at the bottom and I can save it to my device. You'll notice I can save it to Google Classroom. I can also um, upload it to Seesaw. If I save this to my device, I can app smash, so I could put it in iMovie. Um, there's lots of possibilities in terms of saving and sharing. So again, I hope that um, if you're unfamiliar with clips and you want me to come into your classroom or any digital learning coach on the BPS EdTech team, we'd love to do that. We'd love to work with you and your students, brainstorm a creative way um, to, formative, um, to do a formative assessment with your students. These can be made very quickly and I hope it's something that you'll consider and um, add to your list of foundational apps in addition to things such as Book Creator and iMovie. I appreciate, I appreciate you watching this tutorial and I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much.